So please don't be put off by the students who are here today, over my right shoulder. They're just here to observe and learn some of the fundamental ocular and facial measurements that we're going to be taking today on you the subject and I'll also be recording the results on the little tablet here in case we ever need to refer back to some of these measurements okay so I'm just going to log into the app We're in. So, just looking at me straight ahead into my eyes, the first thing I'm going to do is just observe the colour of the eye. Not the white part, but the, the colour of the iris. I just want to observe that particular part of the eye. Left and right, so there's no, there's no heterochromia. So if equal looking colour okay, maybe we're leaning towards the brown light brown hazel colour there let's make sure that there's no iris freckles or iris nevi good okay so looking at i'm actually going to draw the eye here Hazel. Okay, and let's have a little look at the conjunctiva grade there. So referring to the the grade in scale here, a grade zero. So we've got the grading and the colour down there. Let's just start by grabbing a ruler and taking some measurements. So it's not invasive, we have the little scale here. And we're going to start with the iris diameter. So if you could look at this eye. Good. So that's how to perform the iris diameter measurement. That is the HVI do. observing the pupil size using the semicircular scale there as you can see can you see the semicircular scale there everybody Good. okay so you must be relaxed this goes just on the brow you could look into this eye and this eye Okay, so that's bright conditions, pupil size, everybody. So we have six millimeters per eye in bright conditions. Let's move on now. So we're going to do the the vertical palpebral aperture. See the distance between the upper and lower eyelid. So 
head steady. Just look into this eye, please. Okay, excellent. I'm just going to clock this on the scale. Okay. Looking into this eye now, please. Let's have a little look at that measurement on the scale. reading of about 10 millimeters there. So again, I'm just going to draw the eye out on the next page. to measure the total pupillary diameter, the PD, between the two eyes. So I have a scale here. Just there. So I'm just going to reverse it. Your job is to keep the head steady again. Looking into this eye. This eye. Fine. Into this eye while I observe the scale there. Good. 68 millimetres there. Total capillary distance. That gives us the total PD, but what about the monocular values? Because there could be some disparity between the two eyes. We need to check for any disparity, particularly if we're going to fit you with some very focal lenses at a later date. So we have this special ruler here, but this one has a little nasal groove there and as you can see we have the mini monocular scale there there's that one for the right eye and one for the left this is so we can be a little bit more specific a little bit more specific with those ocular measurements so let's rest this on the bridge of the nose and I will observe the scale there, good, a little bit lower now, just look straight as much as possible please. So we have about 32. Sorry, 33, about 34. So maybe a middle or two disparity between the two eyes. Okay. okay. Let's record those results there. So we have the full PD and then the monocular. The, the monocular values. Not binocular, but monocular. Thirty-three for the right, approximately. About thirty-four millimeters for the left. Okay. 
little look at the cornea now. This is the cornea here. This window of the eye. That window of the eye there. So I'm just going to check the the vertical height. The vertical corneal height there. So we need a specific type of ruler held vertically. So looking into this eye for me, please. This eye. Looking into this eye, which is my left eye. Okay. Good, good, good. So we should have a similar reading to the iris diameter. Maybe just a little bit less by a mil or half a mil. Back to this eye, into this eye. Okay, so approximately 11.8 mil if we're being. to draw the cornea out and that was the the vertical measurement okay so just to wrap up the the ocular portion of this measurement demonstration I'm going to do a quick sketch of the eye and all the measurements as one complete uh, segment on the tablet so I'm going to go a little bit quicker with the the tapper just creating everything we need to okay so just sit back and relax And we're going to fill in the iris colour here from the drop down list. Excellent. Conjunctival redness will be automatically added, or lack of redness, grade zero. The HVID, VPA, yes, iris diameter, and the monocular PD measurements, good. Okay, so we're just going to take some very quick and basic measurements of the head. Where I'll do the height, we'll do the width, we'll do a diagonal measurement and diagonal measurement. This way and this way. Okay, and maybe some nasal measurements. So, sit back, relax. Breathe naturally. Okay, we'll start with the width of the head. And for the height, I'm going to check this in two places, right in the centre, in fact three places, just off to the right slightly, back to the centre, and from the left side there. Three measurements there, excellent including the head widths.
and we'll just wrap that up with the diagonal measurements now. Just some nasal measurements now, so just a projection of the nose there. Good. The width of the nose. And just the bridge projection. We have all the measurements we need there. Let's take the final recordings. And we'll save the results. Put them in your folder. Thank you for sitting as a patient for all the students today. I'm sure they've learnt a lot and we may see you again next year for another measurements.